Today, I'm joined by my longtime friend, John, AKA Sprocket, who will give us a tour of his 1976 GMC Birchhaven motorhome. You can follow him on his blog spot at yellowgmcmotorhome.blogspot.com. Before we begin the tour, let me take you back in time and give you a brief history of the GMC motorhome. In the heady days after the United States landed a man on the moon, General Motors engineers set out to design the ultimate traveling machine. Drawing on the excitement of the times, this vehicle had to exemplify the cutting edge of vehicle design and construction. This was not to be just another recreational vehicle. The common design of the times for RVs was a boxy, ungainly, top-heavy vehicle on a truck chassis. The GM vehicle was to be innovative in every way. Design work began in 1970 with the release plan for the 1973 model year. The design would draw heavily on General Motors' expertise in several areas. First, it would be front-wheel drive, a still rare concept in car design, much less motorhomes. The drivetrain and front suspension would be the same design as had been used successfully in the Oldsmobile Toronado since 1966. The 455 cubic inch Oldsmobile engines made it to a turbo hydromatic 425 transmission with torsion bar suspension. The rear suspension would draw on GM's leadership in bus design. Using dual swing arms, one leading and one trailing, with a single air spring on each side. Automatic control would be integrated into the suspension to allow the vehicle to compensate for changes in loading and maintaining a level driving condition at all times. The chassis was to be steel ladder design. The body framing was to be aluminum and the body exterior was to be a combination of heavy gauge aluminum and molded glass fiber reinforced plastic as has been used in the Chevrolet Corvette. The use of front wheel drive and the independent swing arms rear suspension brought many advantages to this design. The lack of drive shafts and axles passing under the coach allowed a very low floor height compared to other motorhomes. The low floor height also allows a low overall height and low center of gravity for the coach. This gave the vehicle almost car-like driving qualities. The emphasis of the design was to be on the traveling experience, not extended in the woods camping. This resulted in the exterior of the vehicle being dominated by large expanses of glass. Visibility from the driver's seat is panoramic to say the least. The vehicle was to be manufactured in 23-foot and 26-foot models, fairly short for motorhomes. There were no permanent sleeping areas, at least not in the original design. All beds were converted from seating areas when needed. Since the floor plan is fairly compact, care was taken in the design of the beds so they did not encroach on aisle space when open. Two models were offered, model 230, 23 foot, and model 260, 26 foot, in two variations. The first variation known as motorhome was provided with GMC finished interior. The second variation, the trans mode, were bare coaches sold to RV manufacturers such as Avian and Coachman, who provided their own interior. Now, here's John who will give us a tour of his 1976 GMC Birchhaven, which he calls the Intergalactic Space Pineapple, or simply the Pineapple. Alright, John. Hey, Dad, how you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, so you wanted to know a little bit about my, my motorhome here. The 1976 uh, GMC Birchhaven um, is the model called a Birch Haven. Um, I was lucky enough to get this shirt recently and the color match, so that was uh, the top of there. But the 1976, um, the GMC Motorhome was produced from 73 to 78, with 1976 being the uh, highest production year. It's a 23 foot coach. 85% um, of them are 26 foot, but the 23s you know, they didn't make as many of them. I guess they didn't think they were popular. This particular one was sold by GMC at what they call the trans mode. It was empty, had no windows. It just had the door and the two front seats and, of course, the dashboard and all that stuff. But the whole back of it was empty. And Coachman Corporation, who, you know, they make lots of RVs and trailers, they outfitted it. And it was called Birch Haven was the model. The Royale was a 26-foot model. Anyway, uh, it's front wheel drive, which is odd for a motorhome. It's based on the Oldsmobile Toronado drivetrain 
455 cubic inch engine uh, turbo 425 automatic transmission so and the back has a very interesting airbag setup there's no axles that run side to side which is why it sits so low to the ground it's only 14 inches off the ground and so it makes it very easy to step into compared to most motorhomes that are built on a commercial truck chassis. Mm -hmm. So we we'll, can take a look inside. Yeah. And I have to apologize. It's, uh, so, it, in, so it's not. Did like, you, you know, did you bring the beer? Did you bring the beer? This was on here when I got it. <laughs> this whole thing was covered with stuff. There was like a whole paragraph on this window. It took forever to scrape it off. And actually, if you look at the back, you can still see where there was a Green Bay Packers football helmet on the side of it. Although it's, it's really dirty right now, it needs to be cleaned, but come on inside. You know what, let me, let me open the blinds here so it gets a little brighter in here. And you can see the cab area a little better. Alright, come on up in. That's a standard business cab area. You know, it's, it's very easy driving with it only being a 23 foot. It drives like a large, a large van, like an extended wheelbase van, um, which I used to also have. Uh, yeah, the dinette folds down into what they call a full size bed, but it's like a pretty thin full size bed. And, um, you know, it's got a, a double sink, you know, cabinet. It's got a propane stove, which I buried under here right now. But it's got a th three burner gas stove, a microwave oven. Originally, they actually had a, a proper gas powered oven in them. But the previous owner got rid of the oven and just put a little micro little little microwave in there, which is pretty handy. And then this bed folds down. This pops up and it just slides out in the back, clips down. All wood cabinetries? This is all solid wood too. Yeah, it's nice. The only thing press board are the countertops. This was something that I really liked about it. Built in cabinet. Yeah, you know, there's a bar. <laughs> a bar in here. Best feature now, RV. And uh, yeah, it's got lighting. And so it's got good cabinets. The cabinets are pretty deep. They go back probably about that far. And they run all the way down on the side here. AC unit overhead. The fridge. This is original wallpaper. Original cabinets. The floor was redone. Originally it had like a rust color shag carpet. There was a, still a piece of it in one of the cabinets when, when we bought it. In fact, I still think... Yeah, there's one little spot of the original carpet down there. You can see it. Oh, yeah. It's all discolored now. But, <laughs> but yeah, it was like a rust color. Yeah, when I bought it, the, it had one of the three-way fridges. This is just a uh, like a Home Depot dorm fridge. Because it was fairly reasonable. I didn't see the need to... We usually, you know, go somewhere where there's a plug-in. So and then you have all fridges. your controls, your little... Um, Gauges and yeah, uh, you yeah, know, you your, gauges your monitors and, and yeah, the hour well, has a dial generator. Well, it's all 1976. Yeah, you know, it's a fuel fuel for the um. Well, the the generator runs off the main fuel tank, so that's just another fuel gauge. Actually, it's disconnected right now. And then you know, water level holding tank. It has um. It originally had a gray and a black water tank. It had two tanks. And um, but it's been replaced to a single larger tank, so there's only one tank it mixes. Then the gas tank, then there's water pump, and then there's a generator start button. And back here, this is just a, a closet, I'd open it, but it's just full of stuff right now. And then there's a bath, the bathroom's all original except for the tile or the floor, the tub, and shower. the shower. Yeah, right now we're just using the tub as a firewood storage <laughs> uh, the water the water pumps disconnected I mean it's 45 years old it's a project I bought it I got a good deal on it knowing that I had to spend a lot of money fixing it up but it's got like they say good bones so um yeah we've been spending 
We've had it for five years now. We've put about probably about twelve or thirteen thousand miles on it. Had the engine rebuilt, um, all new brakes and everything. A lot, a lot of mechanical work that had to be done on it because the previous owner was a little bit lax in the preventive maintenance. So that's the whole inside. All right, John. Well, thank you for the tour right. of your 1976 GMC Birchhaven. Yeah, and the engine's in between the front seats down there. Any features outside here? Um, well, yeah, you can do a walk around, I guess. It, again, like I mentioned, it's dirty. So on this on this side, the uh, LP tanks in there. It's like one of the big long ones. And it actually fits underneath the seat in the dinette, which is nice. Um, and then it has a refrigerator, you know, the back of the refrigerator vent. And then that's where the generator would go when I have one. This is actually, you notice this wheel is different than the rest. That's one of the original factory style wheels, although it was chromed. Um, they came with hubcaps. And, uh, I'm just running that one because I, I had to tread separate on a tire and I didn't have time to go get one so that's my good spare. But this is actually a 16 and a half inch rim which was factory. Truck rims used to be half inch size and then th these are aluminum 16 inch. It's a lot easier to get that size tire than this side. There's only two companies that make that tire size tire anymore and you got to order it like a week in advance. So. Don't get a flat on the road. <laughs> well, actually, I have two of these. The spare is also a wheel like this. And um, that spare I bought in 2017, right before we went to Kentucky in it. And um, so that's an in-date tire. And then the other tires, I can need to do it. I just got those like a couple months ago on the front ones. I need a new date. But yeah, the generator would go in here. This is what happened. Previous owner didn't change the tire, they had a blowout. <laughs> and yeah, well, I can't flip it up because of the pole. But... Water, Water, electric, 30, 30 amp? Yeah, it's 30, 30 amp. And then it's got a class 3 so, hitch on it. So if you uh, tailgate, I flush. Yeah. <laughs> Again, there was, there was another sticker back here that said honk if parts fall off. But people <laughs> like to honk anyway because they see it, they get excited. And so I took that off because I wasn't really sure if parts were falling off or they were just being friendly, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, but I mean, there was a bunch of stickers on it. Here it had flames on it, and actually here you can actually see where the flames are if you look at an angle here. And you're part of the uh, and then GMC the Motor Coach Motorhome International. International. Yeah. And I went with the period correct passes. Yeah, you know, and that's good. You know, the roof rack and. Got the solar unit on top the previous owner put on. And, uh, yeah, we love it. I mean, it's, you know, nine and a half miles a gallon on the highway, which is pretty good for a for an RV. I don't know what you, you guys get in here. Yeah, we're getting about 10. 10, so yeah, it's right around the same. And, you know, so, yeah, we love it. It's great. It's fun. It's small. It's easy to drive. Um, it being a 23, it can almost park it in a single parking space now that's our vehicle <laughs> all right thank you again john okay. i hope you enjoyed the brief history of the gmc motorhome and the tour of the 1976 gmc birchhaven again you can follow him on his blog at yellowgmcmotorhome.blogspot.com please like comment subscribe and share now that's our vehicle.